Hello the internet! It is Thursday the 3rd of September 2020 and welcome back to the channel. And I'm down here at Lake Wallambooler, third day of spring, the weather is warm, it's toasty down here. By the way, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification and make sure you receive every video I upload. What will be better than sitting down here with you lovely specimens? We'll be sitting here with a beverage. Now what kind of a beverage would you suggest I might be here with? I'll give you a clue. It starts with a J and ends in a Daniels. Now wait, that's too much of a giveaway. It starts with Jack and ends with a D. You've got it, haven't you? You've got it. I've got a very interesting product here, folks. Something we don't see in this country. In fact, this is all the way from the US of A. Now I'm pointing up that way, which is kind of wrong. It's more, it's more that way if you're actually playing geographical locations. Hey, how about less wombling? Did I say wombling? How about less waffling? and more reviewing. Jack Daniels whiskey and seltzer. Seltzer? What? I gotta sit down for this. Mainly for comfort. Let me just park my ass up here. You still get a nice view behind me, right? Seltzer. First thing to note here, seltzer is not really a thing here in Australia. It gives me great pleasure to review this in Australia. And being that it's spring, it's a perfect time to be popping a seltzer with whiskey. Now, what the hell is seltzer if you don't know? Cause I gotta, gotta confess, up until about a week ago, I didn't know what a seltzer was. Turns out it's just another way to describe fizzy water, soda water, Wasser mit Gas, if you're German. That's all this is. So whiskey and soda water. That's what we're dealing with here, a pre-mix whiskey and soda water. Now the big thing to note with this beverage and all RTDs, ready to drinks or pre-mixes if you like, we've had these in Australia for decades. Now when I say these, I don't mean this exact seltzer version. We've had Jack and Cola for years. This is a new addition to the lineup in America, which is kind of unique. Seeing as though the Jack Daniels whiskey comes from Tennessee, which is American. It's kind of rad that we've had this stuff forever and Americans are just getting a taste of it for the first time now. Although if you want to play the technical game, they've had country cocktails for years. They've also had, what do they call them? Hard can, uh, not hard candy. Hard cola. You've had hard cola over there in, in, in America for ages. But the idea of having it in a can, ready to drink style. Seltzer is a new thing for me. I don't really dig water with gas. I think it's a little silly. Either drink water or drink soda pop, soft drink if you like. But I'm dead set keen to try this. Don't be confused if you are in Australia and you're thinking, dude, this guy's, this guy's tripping balls. We've had the blue one for years. Well, we've got a black can with a blue logo like this. It's actually whiskey and lemonade. This is whiskey and seltzer. And you can see that it's American. It's got the um, 21 plus on the back there and it's Surgeon General warning. It also looks like this could be aimed at the health conscious Jack Daniels fan because on the top it does say zero carbs, 97 calories, zero sugar. So this is definitely aimed at those you know, watching their figure, 5% alcohol by volume. So we're not looking at a very, we're not looking at a very meaty beverage here. It's kind of low on the meat. It's kind of low on the alcohol. You're probably going to need a few of these to get yourself a little toasty. However, that is more than our premixes in this country. Our cola is 4.8%. What? 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 So this is a couple of extra percent or a couple of extra decimal points percentage wise. The only thing left to do right now, folks, is crack it open and taste it. Well, I was definitely expecting some more pop, some more fizz from the opening. I didn't hear anything. It just like a little click. Let's see if the fizz is hiding in there. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Here's the thing, folks. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> it's extremely light on the fizz. It's extremely light on the jack. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. 
Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. When you drink Jack Neat, maybe you've got a bottle of single barrel or just old regulation, old number seven, and you add a few drops of water into that glass, it really opens up the flavors of the whiskey. You get a different sensation. That's drinking Jack Neat. Here, what we have is somebody telling you, you should put some water in your Jack and I'll tell you how much water to put in there. I think there's too much water in there, to be completely frank. It feels like, it almost feels like the kind of, it's like the day after you've had, maybe you've had like a bottle of this open and you've left it open. Then the next day you go to have a sip and it's like, oh yeah, that, that was a fizzy drink, wasn't it? Yeah, it's not really fizzy anymore. It's watered down. It, yeah, that's a good way to describe it. This tastes like it's watered down previously fizzy pop. Is it something that's gonna take off? I mean, seltzer itself, like I said in Australia, like we we don't really hear about seltzer. It's a great word though, isn't it? Seltzer, Kaiser seltzer. It's almost like an ab abusive term. Hey, seltzer, come over here. Yeah, we don't really use it. Obviously we know what soda water is, but we don't really, I mean, look, I'm 45 and honestly, up until about a week ago, I'd never used I'd heard of the word, but I'd never actually known what it was. So this is new to me. Would I purchase this? Probably not. Um, yeah, it's a strange one. I mean, props for Jack trying this stuff. You know, we've seen in the German market, they've tried Barry. If you want to see my reaction to that hideous beverage, check this link up here. That was terrible. Berry premix with Jack Daniels. This one here, I would put kind of similar to that. It's got a nicer taste because all you're tasting is Jack and cola. Uh, it's, did I say cola? Jack and water, but hardly any Jack. That's the big disappointment. It's got hardly any Jack in it. The other thing I gotta let you know is I paid a lot of money for this to get this to Australia. In America, you probably get this super cheap and that's fine, that's probably what it's worth. For the YouTube review, for all 30 views I'll get, there you go, I'm uh, I'm out there for you. It's a two way street, right? I'm doing my thing. Blah, 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 blah. Why do my Jack Daniels reviews get no views? Hey, keep it down over there. Let me just read to you what it says on the side here. There's government warning, number one. According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Fair point. Number two, consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause health problems. And this is the, this is the thing that really gets me, right? Produced and bottled by Jack Daniel Distillery in Lynchburg, Tennessee. So here's the thing that makes this unique. You're gonna say, dude, that makes no difference. Well. Let me tell you what it is first. Producing a beverage with a certain water. Now, obviously in this beverage, the water's critical. It's it's the seltzer. In Australia, we make our Jack Daniels premixes under license from Jack Daniels, yet we make it with local ingredients, local cola, local waters. The only thing that's not local, not surprisingly, is the Jack Daniels whiskey. There is a difference when something's made at the actual distillery, you're gonna get a completely different flavor. What I'm gonna do, I have a second one here I'm gonna open. I wanna decant it into a glass and like hold it up to the sun, have a look at the, the coloring. Let's just see what the fizz is like. See if the experience consuming it out of a glass is different. Well, okay, okay. You see, uh, you see the fizz in there, right? Let me, let me show you that. You see that? I mean, again, not a lot of fizz going on there. You got the coloring there. It's kind of like a, um, it almost looks like a flat wine. Let's take a little sip here and see if the experience sipping Jack whiskey and seltzer from a glass is any different than sipping it from a can. Now what I'm looking for there, folks, is the taste on your tongue. You might say, come on, dude, that makes no difference whether you drink from a can or from a glass. Of course it does. There are different receptacles on your tongue and different areas on your tongue. And when you decant from a wide mouth brim, you get more of the liquid across the whole tongue in the one go, as opposed to either a straw or a small mouth, such as the one on a can. That's why I like testing this. 
I also like drinking whiskey. These things go hand in hand. However, ultimately, this beverage for me is not that great. I'm gonna give it my... Do we have a review scale here? We don't, do we? Should we start a review scale? From one to um, or from um to one. Doesn't leave much in between though. It's either um or it's one. <laughs> this is um. <laughs> That's the scale, it's either um or it's one. <laughs> Well, this is um, for sure. Man, just because it's Jack Daniels doesn't mean I'm gonna like it, right? Doesn't mean it's gonna be good. Mind you, mind you, you may dig this stuff. You might be looking for an easy way into whiskey. You might be like, well, I don't like fizzy drinks. They don't sit well with my digestive system or whatever it is. And therefore, what you've said about this beverage, let me get the can again so it's clear what I'm talking about. What you've said about the Jack Daniels Whiskey and salsa sits right into my requirements. Less fizz and less alcohol. That might be your use case scenario. In that situation, I would encourage you to go and get yourself a four pack. They come out in four packs in select states of America. Not everywhere gets this. If you're in Australia like I am, good luck getting it. And also go and get a loan to afford it because it's very expensive. <sighs> Jack Daniels, I salute you in trying new things. Keep it up. Now look folks, I'm gonna sit here and finish off this one and the can. I wanna show you a view. I also wanna thank my Patreon supporters. If you support me on Patreon, thank you very much for your continual support of this channel, the Gives A Minute channel here on YouTube. I appreciate you. I wouldn't be able to do this without the support of the beautiful patrons. Thank you so much. What I wanna do here I want to give you a view of Lake Wallambula without my hideous head. As we proceed to roll out the outro of this video, you can see the scope here. If I put you down over here, I'm going to put you down on this kind of little area and you'll get a nice view over there and I'll see you all on the next vlog. Okay, okay, this is going to go down over here. It's going to go like this. All right, all right. You got a good angel there? Enjoy Lake Wallambula.